Okay, so here we are again. Um, I will be showing you how to create the Disk Verifier Live USB on macOS. So, first we need to download Unit Boot in, as it was on Windows, which means we need to open Safari. Search for Unit Boot in. we go. And we hit the Mac OS option. All right. So now we will install that in the usual way. Okay, let's read the readme. right click and click open. Alright, so we need to format our USB stick um, and on macOS you can do that with disk utility which is in the other section here or you can open applications in finder and then head to utilities and you'll find it in there. Disk utility. Okay. So hit parted magic, arrays, fat, go. Okay, all done. So now we open unit booting. We can ignore this warning. Okay. Enter my password. Okay, and again it looks very similar. So we'll pick the disk image. And... I'm not sure I clicked that, did I? Or is it just... yeah, it's a little bit slow. So it's on my desktop, and it is part of magic. There we go. And the disk, that is the right disk. You can use disk utility to check if you aren't sure. So then hit OK. It should begin copying the files. I'm going to fast forward this for you so that you're not waiting. Okay, so here we are installing the bootloader now. We're almost finished. Okay, so same as always. Hit yes to all when you get this query. Okay, so Part of Magic is now ready to boot. The only thing we have left to do is put Disk Verifier on the disk. So all we need to do is go to PMagic, PModules, and then drop this Verifier module that you downloaded in here. This memory stick is quite slow as you can see. Right, so now you can unmount it. Oh, I unmounted the wrong thing. Now you can unmount the USB stick, and it should all be good. 
So that is how you create a part of Magic Live Disk with Disk Verifier module on macOS. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon with some of the next videos that are coming up.